Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing a 3D block letter with the shaker and with a little bit of movement. We're gonna have her swinging a little bit over here. So anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate it and let's get started. So this is Isabella, she's gorgeous. We did print then cut for this picture. Um, the sticker in person looks like I went and bought it from the Disney store. So, or whoever made the movie, pretty sure it's Disney. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna be doing a lot of fun things. I decided to do the shaker as a last minute ad. Originally, I was just gonna do flowers and I was gonna have her swinging like this. And I thought maybe she just needed a little bit more. So we're gonna try that. So let's build our letter and then we'll start, I'll start talking you through it. These, I can't talk about where I got them. I'm, t I'm able to test them. So I'm doing a beta test to see how well we like these foam stickers. So look, they're strips. So I'm gonna use them today. If when they launch, I will remind you that we used it on this project. <laughs> okay, so I am using Nomara's files for the 3D letters. She's on Etsy, it's Nomara Quintella. So look how long this is. The letter I is almost 12 inches high. And the reason why I did that was because Maribel was really big and she's, you know, she has the, the width to right to add things. So I decided to make this really big. I used 12 by 24 cardstock. So you can see, look at the tabs. The tabs are super long. This tab is 19 inches long. So, um, I, you know, I, I do like the 12 by 24 cardstock a lot. They're super helpful for one, like big to make big projects like this, but also like when I'm doing a banner or when I'm doing multiple, like lots of pieces and I don't want to keep like loading, cutting 12 by 24 is actually really nice. And the pricing is not bad. So I buy a lot of it through Cricut when it's on sale. So Cricut, um, Cricut.com, I have a affiliate link that would be awesome if you used it. Um, that's where I get my basic colors. Um, I've got all of them and then <laughs> all that they offer I bought. And then now I saw at Michael's, they are also selling 12 by 24. It was expensive though. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do remember thinking like, okay, it's way more expensive. So, all right. So Nomara Quintella, um, this file, it's one of my favorites. You know, I actually like all her files. Um, they're just well made. I know they're gonna come out great. Um, what I like about the 3D letters from her, and I've only tried a few others, is that um, they're very stable. So I don't need to put anything in there to make it stand up. <clears throat> they stand up by themselves. Um, yeah, they're just really sturdy and they're, um, thick is not the right word. Um, they're just wider, like some of the other designs. I mean, you can take a look and you can see what your preference is, but I like my thicker letters um, so that there's more room for design. Like for instance, sometimes like the letter M, even if I made it this height, it would be skinnier if that makes any sense. So you gotta find one that you like um, and see. I like, you know, I like it thicker so that you can really design without, um, blocking the letter like you still know which letter I'm working on with all the designs on top so anyway um my tip for doing 3d letters is to fold everything both ways so that way it's a little bit easier for you to um manipulate the tabs because once we start gluing down it's hard to to bend them at that point so I did where's my other letter I Shoot, I'm missing some pieces. Give me one second to find my other eye. See, this is what happens. <laughs> ah, did I lose my letters? Um, I may have lost my letters. I'm going to have to, right, um, I think I lost my other eye. And the reason why, I mean, I have the two eyes here, but one eye is gonna sit on top 
as my top design layer. So um, let's see, let me think about it. Do I need a top design layer? Because I'm going to be adding, you know what, I'm okay because we're gonna be doing um, the shaker. So I won't need, because, um, let me tell you what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm all over the place, it's Saturday. Um, if you see this M, I'll flip it over. This M is an additional piece on top because I want to build my letter I and then I want to stitch or like add things. It's a lot easier to have a third I to a third letter, a third copy of the letter. Jeez. <laughs> um, I'm ready. I'm not working tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday and we have a full day of fun like family activities. So I've got to get everything done that I want to for the whole weekend in one Saturday. So I'm all over the place. Um, all right, let's see. What are some fun things we can talk about while I'm just folding these tabs up? The other thing about this tab before I forget, um, this is the cut dash file. So Namara has two files that um, come with the purchase. One is a score line and one is a cut line. So these are cut dash lines. It's so much easier to fold. So that's why I prefer to do that one. So you end up downloading the entire zip file, but what I upload into Design Space is the cut dashed file. So you'll know what I'm talking about when you get it. Okay, so we're gonna build the bottom eye. I'm gonna use the lighter color. This is gonna be my top eye that's actually showing, okay? So what happens is it's super, for the letter I, I feel like it's very intuitive as to where it goes because look at the lengths of these items, right? So this one clearly can only go here, right? It doesn't make sense to go anywhere else. Then the next piece goes here. The little one obviously goes here. So it's very obvious. It's only two tabs. This one will start down here and go the opposite way, okay? So let's start gluing. And I'm gonna glue, you know what? I'm gonna experiment this time. I'm gonna glue one length at a time. So um, maybe I'll do it up here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this down. Then I'm gonna fold this up. Can you see how it goes right here? I'm gonna scoop this out, put glue down here. I'm using Barely Art glue. I like using Barely Art glue because it dries quickly, but it still gives me time to make some adjustments. Um, it also dries clear, so I'm a big fan. I'm also on their design team. Um, but I liked their stuff before I got on the design team. <laughs> to be fair, I was not a glue person. I did not, because I'm kind of messy. Um, so the glue was getting everywhere and it was like just ruining my projects. So anyway, I'm going to lift this up a little bit. I'm already a little bit off track. Um, so I, like I said, I'm on their design team and the reason why I bring that up is because it is open application time. So design team six is currently um, taking applications and I will be reapplying. I have a lot of fun on this team. Um, you know, this past quarter was their cards for Cubs. I'm not a card maker and I'm sorry, I keep getting off, off screen. Okay, I'm not a card maker, so I didn't love the project or the community project, but um, you know, it was still fun to be to do good um, for these foster kids, to be in a group um, and get together with all the crafters in the community to make cards for Cubs. So stuff like that, I just think it's so fun. Um, the design team is very low maintenance. It's two projects a quarter or two projects a month. Um, where you use their glue and you can do anything, any any type of project that you like to do. So 
Um, anyway, so apply, it's fun. We could maybe even be on the same team. They break us up into teams and we have team captains. And, um, you know, you really get to know your team. It's just a lot of fun. It's, 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 it's a networking opportunity. Um, I don't know. It's a challenge. So it's, it's fun. Okay, so I've got that down. And now we're gonna do the other side. So the other side, this tab on the, on the side, there's a tab on the side here, that's to connect the two sets of tabs. So on this one, I'm going to put glue down and I'm gonna put glue down here. So. Just gonna put my hand down, let it dry with some guidance on where to dry. <laughs> okay. So in the past, what I would do is I would glue all the tabs and then hurry to put it down. But there seems to be enough time to do one section at a time and then glue it down. So I don't know, I'm kind of liking it this way. This, like I said, this is the first time I'm doing it this way, so we'll see if I still like it in the end. <laughs> in there really get it down so you can see obviously it's um you should have the letter down here and you glue on top of the letter gives you a lot of uh, wiggle room to, to work with okay I'm gonna scoot this in because I can't take it out and I'm just gonna put glue down on this side and then scoot this to the edge can we talk about? I know. <laughs> I'm setting myself up. Um, if you're not on TikTok or if you, if you're not on TikTok, join TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Um, but the other reason to join TikTok right now, Cricut is doing a TikTok challenge. And what they want to know is they want to know your Cricut story. So, you know, how long have you had your Cricut? Who are you? What do you do with your Cricut? And I just posted mine, but I think it's a really fun challenge because we get to know, like we follow people, but we don't know like their journey so much, right? And it depends on when you started following them and all that. So I think it's a lot of fun. I, I was super, um, I had a good time making, making the video. And then also I'm really looking forward to seeing others. So do the TikTok challenge. There's a prize. I don't know if it's one prize, like one big prize. I think they're giving away quite a bit. Like there was their lamp and maybe a machine. I can't remember. All right, so let me put this to the side. So you see, this is our eye. This is from behind. It's a pale pink, it's hard to see. But this is gonna be our top. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of flip this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'll put it down. And we're gonna put glue all right here and then we're gonna put this on top like this, okay? So all right, this time we gotta put the glue everywhere. And before it dries. Okay, here we go. So I feel like I'm always making some adjustments while it's gluing. Um,
So you're going to use both hands basically at this point to try to match all this up, okay? So see how thick that is? Oh, this came up. All right, more glue. This top part feels like it's pretty secure. This part, not so much. <laughs> but it's gonna go down and we're gonna cover it up. That's the whole beauty of, the, of this project is that we have space or room to really fix our errors. All right, so this is kind of what I'm thinking we're gonna do. We're gonna put the foam tape. We're gonna mix our um, little shaker items in there. And this, then we're gonna put the acetate and this is gonna go on top. And then wherever we have issues, we're gonna put flowers and it's gonna cover up the, the, the issues. Now, the other thing that we need to do though is, let me get my acetate, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. We need to build, oops, yeah. We need to build our little shaker, our little movement piece. So she is gonna be swinging right here like this. I know, let me turn off the light. Okay, she's gonna be swinging like this. So she needs to be attached to, I'm gonna attach her to a flower. So actually let's look at our flowers right now. These are all the flowers that I did. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> it's like in the total like her, her colors, right? Um, I wanna put something like, maybe even something this big. So I'm gonna glue this piece, this sticker onto the flower, but the perler bead is gonna go on the actual flower to move it. Does that make sense? No, wait, let me think about this. That means, would it go? It would, s yes, okay, sorry, I'm thinking out loud. So we need to punch a hole in this in this paper. So let me get out my hole puncher. Um, give me one second. My hole puncher is, oh, it's where I, where I wanted it to be, but I didn't look there because I didn't think it was gonna be there. <laughs> All right, let's punch it somewhere right around here, I think. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so my perler bead doesn't get stuck there. I'm almost done. Okay, so I've got a pretty big hole. I don't know if you can see it there. That's gonna go here. This perler bead's gonna go like this, and that's gonna be attached to our flower. And so our flower can move like this so that she can swing like that. Okay, so she can swing like that, okay. <laughs> like, what am I saying here? Okay, let's build, all right, I think we've got that part. Let's build our shaker. So here we go. So this is a whole straight line. Okay. I like it. Oh, you know what? I should have done this before we put it on here. But too late. Too late to fix that. Because, um, and I say that only because then I can like really press down on it, but I think we're okay. All right, that was nice. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I, can't, I don't know where you can buy this yet because 
It's not available. We're just testing it out right now. So basically what we're building is like a little container to put all of our all of our um, fun shaker items in there. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue because this is gonna be open. Technically, confetti can come out of here. Um, so I'm not gonna put glitter. I'm gonna put bigger pieces, so I hope that we'll be fine. I mean, what we can do is, we can build a little thing around here so that nothing can go in that whole area. That's what we'll do. Okay. We'll think about that in a second. Let's do this first, <laughs> one problem at a time. And I promise you, I will explain it, what I'm thinking in my head. Because if we don't allow glitter to, or you know, the sequins to go anywhere near that area, then we'll be good. So let's do that. That's good. Let's get this down. All right, we're almost done. Almost there. I'm super excited because I want to mix this. I'm, these colors are going to be so pretty. Um, all right, so let's see. Um, the next project is going to be, after this, it's going to be Bruno. And I want to do the fun part, you know, like how I feel like each project has like a, a unique element. Um, the fun part for Bruno is going to be the rats. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet, but we're going to do something, something with rats. All right, let me get this down and we're almost done. Ah. All right, oh, then we just have this piece. Okay, let's mix our confetti and then we'll, we'll figure out this little piece up here. Um, okay, here is my little mixer. I want to do some silver. I want to do, oops. Oh, here it is. I'm like, wait a minute, I had some more colors. I want to add some blues to her thing. So not quite purple, because I didn't have any purple that I liked. Okay, got some pink in there. And I have this one from, I think it's from Michaels. It's these little, they almost like, 
clear, transparent. Um, it, and that's, oh, Recollections, Specialty Glitter. Can you hear it? I like that. So I want to have some sound, but I don't want so much color. So we're going to add that in. Okay. And then I want to add some faux snow. So the faux snow is from, um, let me see, where's my spoon? Is from the Dollar Tree. And I love it. It's only, you know, obviously, well, a dollar twenty-five these days. Um, and it's only during like the holidays, so you got to get all your bags at that point. All right, so I'm gonna mix this in, mix quite a bit. All right, let's mix this up to see what we have, and then we can see if we need to add more of anything. So when you look at this, I feel like I need to add more color. You know what I didn't add? I'm going to add this purple. Can you see the purple coming through? Yeah. Before I spill it, spill it everywhere. Okay, let's shake this up and see if we have a more color, like a more color combo that I want. Mm, it's still too light. I want more purple in there. Let me see what other purples I have. Um, what purples do I have? Not seeing anything there. Sorry, give me a second. I'm looking through my desk drawer. Um, all right, we've got this. This will give it more pink. But I actually want more purple. How am I gonna get purple? Because that's the one color I don't really have. Um, got this purple. Let me mix a little bit of that. Mix a little bit more of this purple. I think we're getting to the color that I want. All right. Did you know it was this complicated? <laughs> I think I did too much of the white. Okay, let's see if that's better. Mm. I'm not loving it. And I feel like once I put it in, it'll be too late. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's better. Oh, yeah, that's totally her colors, right? Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, let's see where... Let's see. Let's put down our acetate so that we know. So we need to build a little thing around here. Let's see how big our flower is. Like, where did I put everything? Oh, you know what? We should glue this down right now. So let's glue these two pieces together. So I'm going to, let me move this up. I'm basically going to put glue right here and glue it to the flower. Okay, 
then I am gonna glue my perler bead to this. So let's, you know, we might need two perler beads to make sure that it's high enough. So let me grab another one. All right, these are our two perler beads. So you see, you can get these at Michael's, at Joanne's. The perler beads are the ones that you usually put down and then you iron it and then it kind of melts together a little bit. It's a project for kids. So, all right, let me do this. Let's glue down this perler bead. Can you see that? Okay. And then I'm going to glue this perler bead to that. Okay, so we've got two perler beads. We've got, so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so the idea is it will swing like this. Okay, that's gonna go down here like this. Oops, I'll move that in a second. Let's build our little, oh no, I put this down, hold on. I'm gonna flip this over, okay. Um, so it's gonna go, I need it back. Okay, um, what can we do? I need a pen. to tell me where the dot's going to be. Okay. All right, so now <laughs> let's build our little square to go around this piece, okay? So here we're, uh, it's getting to be a hot mess, okay. <laughs> Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, my perler bead's gotta go in there with a little piece of paper. Okay, hold. Oh my gosh. This is what happens. I've got too much stuff going on. <laughs> okay, let me think about this. I may, that may not work. We'll have to see. Because my little perler bead needs to go in there. So it doesn't come through. Okay. All right. Um, shoot, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna take this off for now. Hold up, let's see, how are we gonna do this? I actually need to see how big this piece is. All right, we're just gonna have to risk it. I don't think I can, um, unless I build it bigger and we build flowers around it. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so we need to put down, let's see, do we wanna put more on here? Now is the time to do it. I'm gonna put a little bit more, okay. Cause it's all gonna be down in this area. Let's see. Okay. We ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. Um what okay. We need to put this down. <laughs> I'm thinking about this. Oh, I think I did it. The opposite way so hold on so if I it's gonna have to be super super fast okay 
And this is what happens when you don't think it through. <laughs> We're gonna make it work though. All right, I'm gonna peel off all the tape. Actually, I should have left that top part on. Oh, jeez. Hot mess, hot mess. see what we have <laughs> I don't know I don't know if it's gonna work we'll see I am liking this foam tape though that was a lot easier than it could have been okay this little guy is gonna go down here This little guy, we're gonna tape, well, I mean, we're gonna glue this to this with the with the acrylic sheet in between, or the acetate sheet, sorry, not acrylic. Okay, so here we go. <gasps> Jesus. All right, let's get this down. Okay, so far. We're good. Okay, this is where it gets tricky because we need to glue this down. Wait, can I do it now? Well, I guess I can do it now. Okay, so that little piece is right there. I'm gonna put glue right here and I'm gonna put it down there. We'll see if it works. I can't believe it worked okay um okay so now we gotta put this guy over like this I've got to get it in between let's move her around we've got this this will cover our foam a little bit and then what we can't cover we'll, we'll put flowers okay so all right oh my god it's working. Let's do this. <laughs> Let me close up everything before I spill it. Okay. All right, let's move all that out. Okay, we're going to glue this down little by little. Okay, and I'm going to use Barely Art Glue. And like I said, anywhere that, you know, it's not looking good, we'll put some flowers and it'll look good. Okay.
gonna be pretty. <laughs> okay, let's see, we're almost there. Let's get this. So she's super pretty. Let's start putting the flowers on so we can see how like, right, we can cover that. So this, wanna make sure that the flowers, let's see. That the flowers don't block her movement. So she's gonna go back and forth like that. So we could put like a little one there. Something like that. Um, we can put something on the bottom, maybe right here. I think it needs some green. So I'm almost wondering what can I add to put some green on here. Yeah, we might, might not finish this project. But you can kind of see where I'm going with this. All right, that was crazy, right? So now this part is easy. The things to add on top, you're just going to um, glue it on top. So it clearly is the letter I. If we want to make sure that it's really an I, we can do something like this so we don't lose that that shape, uh, that cut out of the eye right there. And I'm gonna need to, um, I need to think to add more stuff to this one. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Have a great evening, great weekend. Don't forget everything that I told you about the design team and my Cricut story on TikTok. I will see you guys later.